Good morning, prayer warriors. So, good uh, evening to those in the Philippines and in Asia. Baby J here from Tucson, Arizona. So, yesterday after we prayed, I just have to dash out and hurry because I have education, like continuing education yesterday. So, it was a busy day for me. So, you know, the good thing about here in the States is, you know, all the medical providers have to go through continuing education. So we have to update ourselves with uh, new stuff going on because there's always new researches that, you know, change the way we practice medicine. So yesterday, I mean, this is my 35th year in medical field, but yesterday I had to learn how to, I mean, I already know how to do this because I've been doing it for so long, you know, reduce fractures with hematoma block, which is fun. You know, you have to do it in a dummy. So it's good, you know, to update your, your skills. The same as I think as we go through our faith, you know, every day we have to learn something new about our faith, right? Especially when we pray, there's always enlightenment in us. You know that when we pray, we don't pray to bend God's will. We actually pray just to communicate. And, you know, if we love someone, we communicate with that person. And in a way, we learn, you know, what God wants us to do with our lives. So good morning, Val. Thank you for joining from Arizona. And of course, Mercy and Chloe, good evening. And Ness, thank you for joining from Singapore. Hi, Diglesi, thank you for joining from uh, Austria. So today we will continue to discuss uh, who can receive the baptism. So remember that the uh, I am teaching you according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, so nobody could say that I'm just making this up. So, we are now in Catechism 1246. So, who can receive baptism? So, every person not yet baptized, and only such a person is able to be baptized. Okay, so pretty much everyone. But, you know... There are some of our friends who got baptized in Protestant church as long as they follow the rubrics. Like, you know, they, you know, because there's a word and there's uh, actions that for the baptism to be valid. If they follow that, their baptism is actually valid and they don't need to be rebaptized in the Catholic church. So, Hi, Melda. Thank you for joining from Igbaras. So, the baptisms of adults. Since the beginning of the church, the adult baptism is a common practice where the proclamation of the gospel is still new. The catechumenate, you know, preparation for baptism, therefore occupies an important place. This initiation into Christian faith and life should dispose the catechumen to receive the gift of God in baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. Remember that the center of all these sacraments is the Eucharist. Like all these sacraments are being done so that some someone could receive the Holy Eucharist. So hi, Ami and Mafe. Thank you for joining us this morning. So the catechumenate or formation of catechumens aims at bringing their conversion and faith to maturity in response to the divine initiative and in union with the ecclesial community. The catechumenate is to be a formation in the whole Christian life during which the disciples will be joined to Christ, their teacher. The catechumens should be properly initiated into the mystery of salvation and the practice of evangelical virtues, and they should be introduced into the life of faith. Liturgy, charity of the people of God by successive sacred rites. So, yeah, Nining, Nining Harapa already uh, Post the link 
So if you guys could uh, join uh, YouTube, that will be fabulous. So that way we have YouTube followers because we need hours to maintain our channel in YouTube. So please watch if you share the video, share the one in YouTube so that we will have hours viewed in YouTube to keep our channel. Hello, Luchi. Thank you for joining from California. So the we are now in Catechism 1249. Catechumens are already joined to church. They are already of household of Christ and are quite frequently already living a life of faith, hope, and charity with love and solitude. Mother Church already embraces them as her own. So this is that that sentence is from the canon. Okay. So hi Bing Esgra and Stel. Thank you for joining this morning. So now we'll talk about baptism of the infants because only the Catholic Church are baptizing, you know, babies. Hello, Sal. Good morning. Thank you for actually sharing our video in IDP so that our Kasimano Wako joined us. So, born with fallen human nature and tainted by original sin. Children also have need of a new birth in baptism to be freed from the power of darkness and brought into the realm of the freedom of the children of God to which all men are called. The sheer graciousness of the grace of salvation is particularly manifest in infant baptism. The church and the parents would deny the child the priceless grace of becoming a child of God were they not to confer baptism shortly after birth. Okay, so because we don't know, you know, what will happen to the child, right? Because illness could set in and the kid is not did not get the sacrament and the grace. So Christian parents will recognize that this practice also accords with their role as nurturers of the life that God has entrusted to them. So the practice of infant baptism is an immemorial tradition of the church. There is explicit testimony to this practice from the second century. And it is quite possible that from the beginning of the apostolic preaching, when whole household receive baptism, infants may also have been baptized. Okay. Good morning, Tita Mimi. And um, so you know that we follow the Jewish tradition, right? Because Jesus is a Jew. And of course, Mary. And in the Jewish tradition, right, within eight days, the infant is being uh, baptized, but they their baptism is different, of course. They circumcise the infant, and then, you know, they have their own rites. But that's their infant baptism because they want them to belong to the community and their family, you know, as soon as possible. Because then the faith of the whole community, right, and everyone there has the responsibility to nurture the faith of that child. So if you think about this, this is also our responsibility, you know, as Christians. You know, everyone, every kid is baptized. We're supposed to be helping them, you know, to know our faith, to nurture and nourish, you know, their curiosity about the faith. So that's why it's imperative that we know our faith very well so we don't teach them the wrong thing, right? If we teach them the wrong thing, we are answerable to God for that because then, Later on in their life, you know, they will teach the same thing to their children. And then the faith, that the, the teaching, we multiply the wrong teaching. That's why it's very important that we know our faith, right? But um, the thing is, God will always enlighten us, you know. Sometimes, though, our belief will also be influenced by the devil because the devil could access everything right he could access 
everything around us. The only thing that the devil could not access, you have to remember this, is our free will. That's why we have to guard them, that free will, very well, okay? Because that's the only thing we have control. Otherwise, the devil could overcome us because the devil is divine, okay? They are fallen angels. In nature, they are powerful than us. But in grace, because we are redeemed by Jesus Christ, we are fighting the devil with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. So we should not be afraid of the devil. But just remember that they could influence anything that's around us. That's why we, it's very important that we are attuned to the voice of God. Right? We read our gospel. We read... We listen to the readings, you know, in the Holy Scripture because that's when we become very strong and we know exactly the voice of God compared to the voice of the devil. So, hello, Tita Eve. Thank you for joining from Laguna. So, faith and baptism. Baptism is the sacrament of faith, but faith needs community of believers, okay? It is only within the faith of the church that each of the faithful can believe. The faith required for baptism is not perfect and mature faith, but the beginning that is called develop. That's what I was saying before. Like we, each one of us has responsibility to nurture and nourish the faith of each child. The catechumen or the godparent is asked, What do you ask of God? church of god's church and the response is faith do you remember that question for all the baptized children or adults faith must grow after baptism for this reason the church celebrates each year at the easter vigil the renewal of baptismal promises preparation for baptism leads only to the threshold of new life Baptism is the source of that new life in Christ from which entire Christian life springs forth. For the grace of baptism to unfold, the parents' help is important. So too is the whole of God Father and God Mother, who must be firm believers, able to ready to help the newly baptized child, or adult on the road to Christian life. That's why when we, che when we choose our godparents, we have to think that these people will be the one who will also guide our children, our child, to become faithful Catholics. So you don't choose somebody who does not believe in God, right? Even if they're Catholic, if they're not practicing, they should not be your godparents. Because the goal, the the responsibility of the god parent is to nurture right to nurture and flourish the and nourish the faith of your child so if they do not believe in god or they do not practice their faith so they would not be a good influencer to your kid right so think about that when you choose god parents hello now thank you for joining us today okay my goodness, I'm so happy that all my, well, pretty much my classmates are all here. Hello, Mom Jean. Thank you for joining from Iloilo City. So, the task is truly an ecclesial function, okay? So, what does it mean? That the task of bringing or teaching our kid to become good Catholic is like an official responsibility of the godparents and us parents right because remember that when they are baptized they don't know the faith you just they we just want them to be belong to the family of the triune god but the faith of that child should be nourished by everyone okay everyone in the household so to no tomorrow let's see okay Next time, I could not do tomorrow because I have to work nights. Um, okay, the, th the next time we're going to be doing this is 
also saturday we would not so tomorrow and saturday we would not have prayers because of work you know sometimes you know if you think about that works is just on the way in in the way of our whatever we want to do in our life but if you think about this if we just incorporate our work you know to out with our faith we could still make it as a prayer and as a ministry to serve the lord that's how i look at it you know when i don't feel like working <laughs> i just think okay lord i'm just offering my work to you you know so it will have a redemptive value since i do not want to do this you know i will make a sacrifice so that you know others could come back to god but if you think about that we know when we work right when we work could you imagine we get paid at the same time at the same time we are helping people so it's a good ministry working is a good ministry if we put so much love on it that we offer that also to the lord so anyway we will uh pray again on uh, monday but i will i will post when we're gonna start praying again but don't stop praying if you know with your family just pray without me or you could uh, re uh listen to the meditation on the youtube so that when you do the prayers there's meditation there so today we will meditate on the uh, glory a joyful mystery and we will get that from the rogationist fathers that's the that's the one that we will meditate today and we are now on the second day of novena right to surrender everything to jesus okay so let's quiet ourselves and prepare our body and our heart and our mind to receive the holy spirit's gift so that whatever we meditate today on the joyful mystery that we could incorporate that in our life as we grow in our faith let's mark ourselves as we belong to the family of the triune god in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen let's take a deep breath and we hold that to keep our lungs fully expanded and let go. Let's take another deep breath. Be sure that all the crevices of your lungs is filled with fresh air and let go. Let go everything that is not of God, everything that's weighing us down and preventing us to be closer to God. One more time. Then let go. Now you feel that your body is relaxed. We're going to offer everything that is not of God, our anxieties, our concerns for the future, our regrets and preoccupation of our past sins, because those are from the devil. The devil always would remind us of how bad we are in the past, but that's not what our God is. The Lord wants us to. Look forward that his mercy is just a drop compared to the ocean of sins. So let's trust God that everything that we have done in the past, he already forgave us. And now we will just continue to try to be closer to him so that we would not be tempted and fall on the temptations of the devil. And let's ask the grace of the Holy Spirit and 
that our hearts will be filled of it. God grant us the spirit of wisdom that we may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten our mind with the light of the divine truth. The spirit of counsel that we may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that we may here bear our cross with you. And that we may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose our salvation. The spirit of knowledge that we may know God and know ourselves. The spirit of piety that we may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear that we may feel with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Amen. Now let's surrender to Jesus everything that is bothering us. Surrender to me does not mean to fret, to be upset or lose hope, nor does it mean offering to me a worried prayer asking me to follow you and change your worry into prayer. It is against this surrender, deeply against it, to worry, to be nervous, and to desire to think about the consequences of anything. It is like the confusion that children feel when they ask their mother to see to their needs and then try to take care of those needs for themselves so that their childlike efforts get their mother's way. Surrender means to placidly close the eyes of the soul, to turn away from thoughts of tribulation, and to put yourself in our care, in my care, so that only I act saying, you take care of it. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. We offer this rosary for the following intentions for all our leaders so they will protect life from conception to death and for our newly elected officials that they will become stellar servant leaders that they will always think for the benefit of their constituents and for those of stolen money from the government please touch their hearts that they will return them in some other ways, to alleviate the sufferings of the poor and the marginalized. For the protection of the people in Ukraine and for the world leaders, so they will use all the resources and their power to maintain peace in the world and to protect those you know, who are poor, who are strug struggling to defend their freedom. For good health of those celebrating their birthdays this month, especially Ami Hikana, Peter Iskanlar, Norberto Elardo, James Flores, Gurley Igiko, James Dofilis, Nining Harapa, Mildred Ensho, Merle Wynn, Tita Carmen, Tita Mimi, Mike, o Mike Furman, Tony Guevara, and Maria Padilla. For safety of Cardinal Joseph Sen. For all um, my 
the frontliners, especially my co-workers, secretaries, paramedics, housekeepers, food services, transporters, the scribes, especially the priests who are giving the last rite, please protect them from any ailments for safety of all OFW, especially Big Picas Pereira, Chipperas, Kim Ifondo, Mila Dizon, and Mary Grace Yosoya, for all the graduates as they pursue their career, may they always follow the path that is pleasing to God. For all IDPians, so we will focus on our mission of building a culture of caring, that we will rejoice for all our successes, but also to defend those who could not speak up for themselves. For those who are looking for jobs, may they find dignified work. For special intention of Father Miguel, Father Dixon Davis, and their mission to Madagascar, Father Butch, Bishop Kikanas, Father Roming Zobaldo, Father Roni, Father Juji, Father Tim, Father Danny Montania, Father Albert Miranda, Julieta Barber, Flora Bartosilio, Jeanette and B-Boy Brania, Bless Noblesa, Glad Pili, Bel Palma, Carrie and Chris, Val Boatner, and Rosalina Gansha. And for the family of Mommy Al. Letty and Artie and the Tanalion family for healing of body and spirit, especially Jacob, Artie Jr., Carl Joseph Perez, Ricardo Sedano, Joey Iluso, Father Benji, Florence Marie Vidiovilla, Lucia Ibalanta Caisan, all my patients, Annabel Ejercito Virgilio Isponilia, A.G. Iliana, Flora, Baby Isaac, Sarah's Brennan, Vanessa Peterson, Des Eluso, Carol Grace Euphemia, Father Shodo, Remy Ramon Urolfan, Karen Gibson, Patsy Arandia, Luci Santander, Margaret and Rick Cross, Janeline Sidabia Manalo, and for Thanksgiving for healing of Jose Seferino Igiko, Kito June, Father Martin Island, Ita Eve, for us, Rochelle Kimtan, Ito Roli, Ram Joey Almeda, Baby Xander, Rosemary Oviedo, Christian Kai, Beatrice Echaleco, Denise Lindsay Sherry, Josefina Iskandlar, Jan Jesus Samonteza, Mary Grace Escobanias, Antonio Iscamilian, Anthony, and Antonio Rojas. For those called by God ahead of us, may they be granted eternal rest, especially Manang Nining Elena Delgado, Russell Sumter, Tito Elmer, Joseph Altababa, Julius Alulosa, and Ilya Sufisensia, Tita Ines, Lazaro Encho, Zach, Salde Scorpizo, Adora Espanola, Father Freddy Paulo, Irene Tiva, Bibito Galientes, FJ Iscanian, Tony Encho, Elsa Escaran, Lloyd Erfe, Angel Staton, Stephen and Lourdes Lipianic, Mario Vachon and Antonio Gonzaga, Bertin Imanic, Connie Thelma Ben and Rafael Rapatan, John Lee Hoff, Antonio Boulevard, Milagros Idhan, Menard Mina, and Alma and Andy Estrabor for the intentions of the prayer warriors of St. Hannibal, St. Augustine, St. John Paul II, Christ the Good Shepherd, Soldiers of Mary, St. Anthony, ESD Family, the Real Women, Our Ladies, Marian Movement for Priests, Father Peter Procascois, please give them excellent health so they will continue to pray fervently for others. For all the intentions, worries, sufferings that we keep in the silence of our hearts, let's unburden our hearts and offer them all to Mama Mary for her intercession. Now, let's pray for our seminarians. O Jesus, eternal high priest, we offer you through your Immaculate Mother Mary, your own precious blood, in all the masses throughout the world, as petition for graces for all seminarians, your future priest. Give them humility, meekness, prudence, and a burning zeal for souls. Fill their hearts with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to know and love the Church, that they may always and everywhere speak, act, and think with her. The glorious spouse of Christ, Teach them generosity and detachment from the worldly goods, but above all, teach them to know you and to love the one and only eternal priest. Good shepherd of souls, hear this my prayer for saintly priest. 
Amen. Let's free 10,000 souls from purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Let's pray for our priest. May God send us holy and courageous priests. O Jesus, our great high priest, hear our humble prayers on behalf of thy priest. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will ever increase in the course of their priestly life. In their loneliness, comfort them. In their sorrow, strengthen them. In their frustration, point out to them that it is true suffering, that the soul is purified, and show them that they are needed by the church, they are needed by souls, they are needed for the work of redemption. O loving Mother Mary, Mother of Priests, take to your heart your sons who are close to you because of their priestly ordination and because of the power which they have received to carry on the work of Christ in the world which needs them so much. Be their comfort, be their joy, be their strength, and especially help them to live and to defend the ideals of consecrated celibacy. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the increase and in faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The Joyful Mystery The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Mary's message God so loved you that for your sake he willed his only begotten Son to become a man. In, fulfillment, in fulfilling his Father's will, Christ came to earth to redeem you and to show you the path to heaven. In this mystery, Jesus teaches you to love God effectively by doing His will. Dear Blessed Mother, you replied to God's angel, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say, simply and humbly. You made yourself available for the service God required. May we never forget your lesson of prompt response to the Father's will. Amen.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Mary's message. Christ had hardly taken flesh and already he wanted to be shared. He longed to give Zachary, Elizabeth, and the unborn John the joy of his presence. In this mystery, Jesus invites you to share him with your fellow man. Freely you have received, freely give. Dear Blessed Mother, your example of charity and apostolic zeal is a precious lesson. Make us understand how to preserve the faith by sharing Christ with others less privileged spiritually. Whenever we keep our faith in Christ to myself, ourselves, please remind us to, sh to care and share, at least through the charity of prayer. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the Nativity. At Bethlehem, the kindness and graciousness of God, our Savior, appeared to invite a sin-saddened world to rejoice. The herald angels greeted Christ's birth as good news of great joy. You believe in Christ, so to be full of joy, he gives you as a pledge of endless bliss in his presence. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. When you were baptized, you were presented to the Lord in his temple. You then agreed to serve him faithfully on earth and that you might worship him and be his forever. May this rosary ministry always miss, recall your baptismal promises and inspire you to live up to them. Thank you, dear Blessed Mother, for turning our thoughts to our first meeting with Christ at the baptismal font. In joining his company, we rejected evil and sin by pledging lifelong fidelity to Christ. 
Virgin most faithful, please pray to the Lord for us that we may remain totally and generous, generously dedicated to Him and keep my our baptismal promises. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding in the temple. In your life, also, there will be strange divine doings to puzzle you. You may wonder in dismay what God wants to accomplish. You may wish to probe in prayer to discover His hidden reasons. God does not ask you to understand His doings fully, but rather to align your will with His in complete filial trust. Dear Blessed Mother, the thousand whys on our lips are not always the best response to God. May His Holy Spirit teach us, as He taught you, to accept His ways without always asking God to prove again His care for us. May we always reverence His presence within us as another living temple of His glory. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Thee, blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, 
and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send our sighs, mourning, may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's ask the intercession of St. Michael to protect our family, especially the weakest members of our family, our children. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to the, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Prayer to defeat the work of Satan. O Divine Eternal Father, in union with your divine Son and the Holy Spirit, and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we beg you to destroy the power of your greatest enemy, the evil spirits. Cast them into the deepest recesses of hell and chain them there forever. Take possession of your kingdom, which you have created and which is rightfully yours. Heavenly Father, give us the reign of the, Immacul of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We repeat this prayer out of pure love for you and every beat of our heart and with every breath we take. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. I want to share with you today because today is Priest Day Thursday. The message from Mama Mary from Father Go given to Father Gobi. So this message is uh, given on February 11, 1978, Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. You must prepare yourselves now. From every part of the world, beloved sons, I gather you together today in my immaculate heart. With humility, you, may ac be, you have accepted the invitation to entrust your lives to me. And now at every moment, I myself will be your defense. You have also consecrated your priesthood to me. I take upon myself the duty of making it daily more and more conformable to the loving design of the Eucharistic heart of Jesus. You have given me your hearts. I will put in the place of your hearts, filled with sin, my immaculate heart. And thus I will draw upon you the power of God, which will form in each one of you my son Jesus in all his fullness. To this end, a seed to which your Immaculate Mother now asks of you. I ask of you docility, prayer, and suffering. Be first of all more and more docile. 
Only thus can I nourish, clothe, lead, and form you. These are the times when I am working the greatest wonders in hiddenness and silence. I am working my greatest miracles in the hearts and the souls of my beloved sons. Without you or others noticing it, I am leading you to great holiness. I am giving you my own spirit, and thus the spirit of Father and the Son will be irresistibly drawn to descend upon you, as he descended upon me, and he will transform you completely. You will become great in love, in virtue, in sacrifice, and in heroism, and thus you will be ready for my plan. Pray more, beloved sons. Never give up the prayer of the liturgy of the hours. Your daily meditation and your frequent visit to Jesus present in the Eucharist. The sacrifice of the Holy Mass must be lived interiorly by you in your life and at the moment of its celebration. It is above all at the altar that each of you comes to be like Jesus crucified. Never neglect the recitation of the Holy Rosary. This prayer, which I hold so dear, which I came down from heaven to ask of you, I taught you to recite it well by passing the beads of the rosary through my fingers as I joined in the prayer of my little daughter to whom I appeared in the grotto of Masabel. When you recite the rosary, you invite me to pray with you, and each time I truly join in your prayer. And so you are children who pray together with your Heavenly Mother. And it is for this reason that the Rosary becomes the most powerful weapon to be wielded in the terrible battle which you are called to wage against Satan and his army of evil. Offer me also your sufferings, your interior sufferings, which are so humiliating to you because they come from the experience of your limitations, your defects, and your numerous attachments. The smaller and the more hidden the sufferings which you offer me, the greater is the joy which my Immaculate Heart experiences. Your exterior sufferings, which my adversary often provides for you, as he hurls himself at you with rage and fury, all the more violently because he foresees that you will be used by me for his definitive defeat. Some he torments with temptations of all kinds, some with doubt and mistrust, others with aridity and weariness, others with criticism and derision, and others with even the most serious calumnies. Respond in only one way, by offering me the suffering you experience and have confidence, confidence, confidence in your Heavenly Mother. If I have always been near you, I am especially so at times such as these, with all the tenderness of my motherly love. Do not be afraid. I repeat, be mine and Satan will not touch you. You are in my garden and no one will be able to snatch you from my immaculate heart. Thank you, Mama Mary, and all the angels and saints who are here with us today. Please bestow the same blessings to all the prayer warriors who are not able to join us because of Wi-Fi issues. And for those who are starting their days, may all your actions and words will be pleasing to God. And for those who are about to sleep, May you have tranquil and undisturbed rest. We ask this to the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, Tita Jen. Thank you for joining us from Manila. And Akai. Hello, Akai. Thank you for joining us in Gimbal. So remember... If you could do me a favor and share the YouTube when you share our video, share the one with the YouTube link so that we will have viewers in YouTube so that we will keep our channel. Okay? I'll bring all your intentions as I go to Mass today. So keep on praying.